Welcome to your Cohesion Classroom. In this lesson, we will take a look at how to understand exponents. At the end of this video, you will have access to our tips and takeaways, allowing you to focus on the content being presented. You can always access any of our tips and takeaways from the lesson page before or after watching the lesson. In this lesson, we will learn to understand exponents and find their value. First, let's review some vocabulary that will be important in this work. A base is the number that will be multiplied repeatedly. The exponent tells the number of times to multiply the base. Using an exponent is a way to represent a problem with the same factor repeated, so it is important to understand how to find the value. First, to understand exponents, let's take a look at how to use the exponent to represent repeated factors and how to read the exponent. The equation we have is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. To represent this equation as an exponent, we will need to write the base number, which is 10, and how many times the number is being multiplied, which is 4. Now that we have written the exponent, to say it correctly or put it into word form, we would need to say the number of times the base is multiplied as the power. The exponent would read the fourth power of 10. Another way we can demonstrate understanding of exponents is by actually solving them. If we were to find the value of the fourth power of 10, we would need to multiply the base 10 four times. We can multiply 10 times 10 for a total of 100, then 100 times 10 for a total of 1,000, and lastly, 1,000 times 10 for a total of 10,000. It is important when multiplying a number repeatedly to be sure to keep track of how many times the number is being multiplied. Another strategy when multiplying by tens is to notice how the exponent and number of zeros in the answer relate. If you look, we can see that 10,000 has four zeros at the end and the exponent is four or to the fourth power. To extend this type of problem, students may encounter this type of equation to solve. Five times the second power of 10 is similar to our last problem. We will just have to multiply the exponent by five once we have solved it. The second power of 10 is the same thing as 10 times 10, which is 100. Then we multiply by five for a product of 500. When understanding exponents, it is important to use the exponent to communicate how many times the base is being repeatedly multiplied. Another way to help understand exponents is through looking at patterns. Let's take a look at and complete this pattern of powers of 10. The first line of the pattern shows six times 10 to the zero power. This is often confusing to students because seeing that zero, we automatically think the value is zero. When the zero is in the exponent, this has no value because it is not repeating the base number 10 at all. The value of the first line is six. The second line shows six times the first power of 10. This means the base, which is 10, is represented one time so to find the answer, we would multiply six times 10 for a product of 60. The next line shows six times the second power of 10. We would multiply six times 10 times 10 for a product of 600. You can see as the pattern increases, so do the amount of zeros at the end of the product. Lastly, we have six times 10 to the third power which is six times 10 times 10 times 10 for a product of 6,000. This pattern helps the students to see the connection between the number of zeros in the product and the value of the exponent. A common error that can occur when finding the value of exponents is that students may confuse what to do with the exponent. For example, a student may answer that the value of the third power of 10 is 30 instead of 1,000. 
This error occurs because students multiply the base and the exponent instead of the base the number of times the exponent indicates. To address this issue, reinforce the base is the number being repeatedly multiplied and that the exponent indicates how many times. Be sure to have students write out the exponent. Another common confusion students can have is with the exponents 10 to the zero power and the first power of 10. Students are generally stronger with the larger exponents such as the second power of 10 or the third power of 10. Students relate zero and one to the multiplication rules they have learned so early on. Any number multiplied by zero is zero and any number multiplied by one is the number itself. It's important to reinforce the difference between regular multiplication and the powers that exponents represent. For example, when working with the exponent 10 to the zero power, it is the same as multiplying by one because it does not represent any power of 10. When working the exponent, the first power of 10, it is the same as multiplying by 10 because it represents one 10. Looking ahead, students will use this skill in the lesson related to the order of operations in which they will encounter problems with exponents. For more practice with this skill, revisit the video on place value and patterns. Continue to use patterns to solve exponents and reinforce the relationship between the number of zeros in a product and the exponent. To gain a full understanding of this concept, visit the lesson page to view the rest of the place value, multiplication, and expression set of lessons. Uniting students and families in learning, we are Cohesion Education. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.